Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about chapter 4 indices, certs, and logarithms of additional mathematics form 4. So in this part 1 video, we are going to look at 4.1 law of indices. So we are going to learn how to simplify algebra expressions involving indices. So in this part, you are going to look at all these formulas which you already learned in the lower form, form 3. So I'm not going to go through this uh, and we are going to look at this again while discussing all the examples given below. Before we start, take a piece of paper and then pause the video and write it down. For every examples that I'm going to show you, you pause the video, try to solve it and then you compare your answers with my solution. So now let's start. So we start off with the basic questions. So to simplify this, first we check the base number. So since they have the same base number, so we can use this formula, a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals to a to the power of n plus n. So we just add the indices 3n plus 5n if they have the same base number. So 3n plus 5n equals to 8n. This is the simplified answer. We look at this again. Since they have the same base number, so n plus 1 is added to 3n. So you have this, you simplify this, you get a to the power of 4n plus 1. We continue. Now we want to simplify this. So we first we check the, the base number. They all have the same base number. Then we proceed. So this we already know that is 3x plus 4x. So you get 7x. For this division, we are using the formula. When you divide the indices, you, have, you, mul you minus m by n. The, this part we already simplified to 10 to the power of 7x. When you divide with this, becomes 7x minus 7x. So you get 10 to the power of 0, which is equals to 1. Yeah, by using this formula. If you're not sure, you can always feel free to use your calculator to check the answer. Now we try again. So you check the base number, they are the same. So when you multiply, you add n plus 4n. So you have this, 10 to the power of n plus 4n. So you get 10 to the power of 5n. So when you divide, you use this law again, 5n minus 3n. So you get 10 to the power of 2n. So when you have this form, you refer to the formula here. So when there are brackets here, means m multiplies n. So it means every indices here, 6, negative 4, and 2 will be multiplied by 1 over 2. So 6 multiplied 1 over 2, negative 4 multiplied 1 over 2, 2 multiplied 1 over 2. So if you find all this, you get this. That's your final answer. Then if we have this, combined operations, the first thing you always do is just get rid of the brackets. So we apply this here again. So the 2 applies to, the 2 will be multiplied with the 2 here, and the 2 will be multiplied with the 3 here. So you get something like this. 2 times 2, 3 times 2, and simplify the 1 in the brackets. Since this is multiply, 2 times 2 is 4, we'll, we'll add 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so you get 4 plus 6, and then you get 10, and since division here, 11 minus 10, so you get m to the power of 1, which is m. Now this time, you're going to simplify this with different base number. Since they have a different base number, you cannot use the formula straight away. You need to change the 4 and the 8 so that they have the same base as 2. So 4 is actually 2 to the power of 2 and 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So if we change this, now all of them have the same base. So remember when you change the 4 to 2 to the power of 2, you need to put a bracket here to remind yourself just in case. Okay, so now since all have the same base, we need to simplify this part and this part. So the brackets for the indices means multiply 2 times n, so 2n. So 3 times 2, to the 2 over 3 becomes 2n. So you get this and we just use the formula n plus 1 because it's multiplied. So n plus 1 plus 2n division minus 2n. So you have this plus 2n minus 2n. So 2n minus 2n is 0, so you get 2 to the power of n plus 1. That's the final answer. Try again. So it's very obvious that 49 is 7 to the power of 2. So we need to change 49 so that it has the same base with 7 here. So 49, 7 to the power of 2, since this is a bracket, means 2 multiplies 2n minus 1. This multiplies all the terms here. 
So you get 2 times 2n becomes 4n, 2 times negative 1 becomes negative 2. So you, from this part, you get this, the rest is still the same. So since all of them have the same base number right now, so you can use the formula 3 plus 4n minus 2 minus, because division, minus 4n plus 1. So be careful here. One of the common mistakes is when you put a negative sign here, you didn't put the brackets, so the 1 is still positive. But actually, because of the bracket, negative applies to every term in the brackets become negative 4n and negative 1. So just simplify this, you get this, and 4n minus 4n is 0. 3 minus 2 minus 1, 0. 7 to the power of 0 is 1. Now we come to numbers which involves roots. So in this case, we always convert the roots to indice, indices by using this formula. So if you have a, the nth roots, you change it to one to the power of 1 over n. Okay? So the nth root always change to power of 1 over n. So here, first, so look at the first one, a to the power of 7 is still a to the power of 7. The fifth root, according to this formula, becomes 1 over n. The fifth root is 1 over 5. So this multiplies by 1 over 1 over 5. The same applies here, a to the power of negative 9 in brackets, and then multiply by the power of 1 over 4 because it's the fourth root. So it's 1 over 4. Then you simplify it, 7 multiplies 1 over 5 becomes 7 over 5. Negative 9 times 1 over 4 becomes negative 9 over 4. And since it's a multiplication, 7 over 5 plus negative 9 over 4. 7 over 5 plus negative 9 over 4, you get negative 7 over, 17 over 20. So now we look at the second type of questions besides simplifying. Okay? The question asks you to show that 4 to the power of 3a minus 2 equals to this. 64 to the power of a over 16. So for this type of question, you either take the left-hand side or the right-hand side to start. So for example, I use the left-hand side to start my solution. So 4 to the power of 3a minus 2. So I'll try to convert the numbers, play with the numbers, so that in the end, my answer is this, the right-hand side answer. Let's try. So it's very obvious that we have a division here. So it means the negative 2 here, we need to break this. By using the formula okay, n minus n is actually a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n. You get a 4 to the power of 3m divided 4 to the power of 2. Now since the right hand side answer here is written in the fraction form, so we have a division here, so we also write this in the fraction form. Now we are getting close to this, so it's quite obvious that 64 here, you get 64, 4 to the power of 3 is 64, and 4 to the power of 2 is 16. Show that this equals to this, so we can start off with any, any side, so we take the left hand side. So it's quite obvious that the plus 2 here, we need to use the formula, plus becomes a multiply here. So it's 9 to the power of 2a multiply 9, 9 to the power of 2. So it's also very obvious that 9 to the power of 2 here is 81, 9 to the power of 2 is 81. And since the answer is in this form, we try to re rewrite this in this form. Uh, so it's 81 times, brackets here means multiply, 81 to the power of a. Now we have the third type of questions, where the question asks you to simplify this in the form of k multiplying 5 to the power of n, where k is a constant. So you need to simplify it and then arrange it so that it has this form as a final answer. So we start off with this, and uh, we check the base number, there is one number here which is, not the, which is different. So we change 25, so it's obvious that 25 is 5 to the power of 2. Yeah, so we change it to 5 to the power of 2, and then, um, and then we simplify this part first. Since brackets here means multiply, means 2 plus n minus 1. So you have 2 plus n minus 1. And then we simplify this part, you get 2 minus 1 is 1 plus n. Yeah? You'll notice that every term, what the first term, the second term, and the third term, we have 5 to the power of n, 5 to the power of n, 
5 and then we have the n here so we use this formula to rewrite 5 to the power of n plus 2 so that it becomes 5 to the power of n multiply 5, 5 to the power of 2 and the same applies here so you get this okay 5 to the power of n multiplies 5 to the power of 2 and this one you get 5 to the power of 1 which is this and I bring the 5 to the power of n outside the brackets so if you rewrite in this step it is clearer for you to see that we can factorize 5 to the power of n from each and every one of this term so you get this so you can factorize 5 to the power of n and you have 5 to the power of 2 and here if you factorize 5 to the power of n you get 1 and here you have the 5 so 5 squared minus 1 minus 5 you get 19 and hence you get 5 to the power of n times 19 but we have to rewrite this in this form where the constant is outside the bracket and the 5 to the power of n is inside the bracket so we switch the position of these two numbers and you have this as your final answer for this type of question there is another way of asking for example show that this is divisible by 19 for all positive integers of n so what this question actually asks is for you to simplify this like what we have done just now simplify this so i leave out all the steps i give you the final answer so when you simplify and in the end you get this final answer you come to a conclusion where since 19 times 5 to the power of n is divisible by 19 hence the algebraic expression here is divisible by 19 for all the positive integers of n so for the same solution there are different ways of asking the question so these are all the examples for our part one video in the part, one, part two video we are going to look at solving problems involving indices which i'll upload soon thank you everyone